Hey everyone, welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews consumer robotics and fantastic tech from around the world. I'm your host Elias, it's great to have you here, and it's great to have this robot here as well, the iRobot Brava 380T, a robotic floor sweeper and mop. Yes, a robotic floor sweeper and mop, you heard me right. It is so small, it is so sleek, but does it work? Let's find out. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. So here it is, the iRobot Brava 380T, the robotic floor sweep and mop with three buttons on top. From the left to right is the sweep power button and then the mop button. Under the robot there's two wheels and between them there's a compartment for the nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery. Its dimensions are 8.5 by 10 and only 3 inches tall. On top there's a large diamond shape and that is the sensor that allows the Brava to connect to the navigation cube which comes with the Brava. The navigation cube helps the Brava provide better room coverage. It requires two C batteries which came included. There's an LED status indicator light on the cube and a power button. Think of the navigation cube as a beacon that helps the Brava navigate better. This is the turbocharged cradle. It offers a place to rest the robot and charge it at the same time. It cuts down the charge time from 10 to 2 hours. Two microfiber cloths were included with the robot. One blue for wet cleaning and one white for dry sweeping. Taking a closer look under the robot, this is a pad. Two pads come with the Brava. The pads are used to attach cleaning cloths so you can sweep or mop. This particular pad is used for sweeping. It is held firmly under the robot with very strong magnets. All right, so let me show you how this works. You take the, for example, the white dry sweep cloth, place the pad in the middle, tuck in the cloth in the rubber inserts on both sides, but be careful not to pull the rubber insert, as I'm doing here. It comes off pretty easily, so don't do that. Instead, follow the instructions as they're displayed in the middle of the pad there and tuck in the cloth carefully. And this is the Pro Cleaning Pad used for mopping. It comes with a built-in fluid reservoir it is used to hold the floor cleaning solution. The pad intended for mopping is equipped with Velcro, which allows you to attach the microfiber cloth intended for mopping. Really easy. Okay, so let's see the robot in action. If you recall, the navigation cube acts as a beacon helping the Brava clean. So you place the navigation cube in the center of the room, or close to the center of the room you like to clean, place the Brava on the floor, press the sweep or the mop button on the Brava, and the robot will start cleaning right away. If you notice, there's a blinking light on the navigation cube, which means it is trying to establish a connection with the Brava, and right there it turned solid, which means it established a connection. And also there are three blue LEDs on the Brava that are also lit, indicating that there is a solid connection. The navigation system indicator lights also indicate the Brava range. As the Brava gets to the edge of its range, the number of lights will go down. 
The coverage around the navigation cube is about a thousand square feet for sweeping and about 400 square feet for mopping. You can extend that range by adding additional cubes. Also, you can see the robot is moving right now at real-time speed, so it can, kind of gives you a sense of how fast it can move, which actually moves pretty fast. For sweep mode, the cleaning pattern is pretty straightforward. It just goes back and forth cleaning across the floor. There's also a faster speed mode you can activate by holding down the sweep or the mop button for three seconds. That increases the speed by 30%, that basically avoids edges and focuses on cleaning just the large spaces. I noticed the robot is equipped with infrared sensors similar to robotic vacuums, which will help it avoid obstacles and also fall off ledges. But even iRobot recommends that as a safety precaution, open ledges or balconies with a drop of two feet or more should be blocked off with a physical barrier. All right, so let's fast forward a little bit. We're going to be running at twice the video speed. Here you can see the robot under a table moving around the, the chair legs and gently tapping on them. It is using the infrared sensor and the bumper sensor that is equipped with, similar again to robotic vacuums. The battery was very long lasting. It held the charge for two hours when mopping, four hours when sweeping, and it only takes about two hours to charge. Now watch as the robot goes by and listen at how quiet it runs. We measured it at about 51 decibels. Okay, so as it cleans, debris will accumulate obviously on the cloth, but also around the wheels. When you are done with the cleaning cycle, make sure you clean around the wheels as well. Okay, to clean other rooms in the house, move the navigation cube to that new space. Here we're cleaning a bathroom floor. Again, same thing. The robot moved back and forth and did a very good job sweeping debris. Here's a minor complaint. Aesthetically the robot is very sharp looking. I love the black finish but it is not scratch proof and definitely not fingerprint proof. It tends to collect dust and fingerprints and they're very hard to get off. Once you do that sometimes you may even get scratches on the actual unit itself. So here you see it, it is moving nicely around toilets, edges. The three blue lights again are an indication that it is maintaining connection with the navigation cube and it indicates that it is very close to the navigation cube. As it gets further away, the lights will step down. The Brava does come with two microfiber cloths included. Here's the white one here for dry sweeping and the blue one already installed for wet mopping. They work very well. If you need additional ones, you can visit the iRobot store. As an alternative to those, you can try the Swiffer brand. Here's, this is why I have the box out here. The Swiffer brand disposable cloths, they work very well. Here you can see it's already attached a good value. For the cleaning solution, iRobot recommends use something that is less harmful to the insides of the robot, mild solutions, and they have some recommendations on their website. So check that out. All right, so in mop mode, you're using the mop pro clean pad. The cleaning pattern is a little different. It moves forward a short distance on one side, backs up, moves forward again on the other side and continues to alternate back and forth as you can see. Okay, a bit of caution here. The mop mode should only be used on sealed floors. If you're not sure if your floor is sealed, check with the floor manufacturer. From our testing, we can tell this device is used to perform simple maintenance type cleaning. It is not intended to clean any major spills. So keep that in mind. Of course, in this mop mode, we are using the ProClean Reservoir Pad, which comes with a reservoir that can hold the floor cleaning fluid. iRobot recommends using mild floor cleaning solutions. They have some recommendations on their site. We use the Swiffer floor cleaner, it is very mild, it worked out very good. So here we have a very interesting smart robot. The Brava 380T is a robotic sweeper and mop, and I think it's built around the concept of simplicity. It is very small, it is easy to operate, it has great battery life, it is compatible with the third-party cleaning cloths, which gives you good value. It works very well with its navigation system, 
but at the same time, I wish the finish was something else. I like it, but I don't. It attracts fingerprints, and when you try to clean it, you may even scratch the device. And also, I wish the next revision of this product includes application support, meaning some of the products out there will have an application that will run on your phone that will allow you to program your device or even use it remotely. I'd love to see that. But bottom line, does it work? And I think it does. It is designed to clean simple messes, take away the daily chore so you get back a few minutes of your life so you can cook dinner and take care of the kids. But the opinion that really matters is yours. So we'd love to hear from you. What did you guys think of today's show? What did you think of the Brava 380T? Is this a robot you would consider to buy? Do you own one? What was your experience with it? We'd love to hear from you. And we'd love to hear any suggestions for any future products you would like us to review. So leave all that below. And until next time, thank you for watching Smart Robots Review. Oh good, you're still watching. So as a bonus, I wanted to tell you what I use to clean the floors with. I use a Swiffer WetJet. It worked very well. You just poke a hole here and it filled out the reservoir with no problem. A good alternative and a mild solution.